Hello! Today I'm going to try vitamin food. So what's in the box? There is a pretty elaborate press release. Two shakers. There is banana, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry. They say three scoops. What is a scoop? Per portion, 150 grams. So that means that there is three meals in this bag. I'll go for chocolate to start with. Uh, me and my big mouth, um, they, they have scoops in the bag. See, there's a little, I'm sorry. Clean this baby up. Three scoops, 450 ml of water. So I'm going to make the meal exactly as it's stated on the bag. I'm also just make it in the bottle shaker to see how the powder reacts on the water because some powders they dissolve like salt in water and it's just very and some you really have to make with a blender. So let's make a shake. Yeah, it closes really good. And there is the scoop, see? One, looks like ice cream. I think it blends pretty good. My prediction of this shake is that it's going to be slightly gritty. Let's see if I'm right. Curious to see the consistency of this food. Mario, please. Is it vitamin food? No, it's vitamin. Vitamin food. Of course it's vitamin food. One last shake. It's a bit watery. I think I'll put less water in the next one. I've never had this texture and mouthfeel before. It has a somewhat jelly-like consistency. It's not at all gritty. I was wrong with my assumptions as I was wrong with the scoop. I think they could say that it has more of a cacao flavor than a chocolate flavor. You know the raw cacao nibs? How that tastes different than when you have a bar of chocolate? It has a lot of OT aftertaste. I can't quite put my finger on the consistency. It's not like a yogurt drink. It's a bit more sticky than that. I think if you put the water down, it becomes really gooey, really quick, which is actually quite pleasant. If you use rice milk or almond milk, you can make it even more foamy. So it becomes more of a voluminous type of... That's the thing. I'm missing a little bit of a volume here. Completely different experience than what I had in the past. Shakes are either very gritty or very smooth. And uh, most of the time when they're smooth, they go in the direction of a beverage, depending on how much water you add. And if they're gritty, they go more in the direction of a porridge. Again, depending on how much water you add. I have not felt the urge to drink water with it. It has somewhat of an earthy tone to it as well. Even slight hints of salt, which is good because these things shouldn't taste like sugared milkshakes. I'm going to walk in the park and try the vanilla flavor um, because that way it can sink in for a bit and I can enjoy the beautiful sunrise. So then yesterday I tried chocolate, today I'll try... Uh... Last winter I uh, also walked a lot of this park. Nora, I was really struck by how nature really shows its way here. It sounds very cliche, but as I grow older, I start to appreciate these things more. But, it, but also, what's even, what's even more funny is that when I was on this diet and I was just so balanced, I felt that the appreciation of nature was somewhat more there. Something kind of similar uh, that what I noticed when I'm uh, microdosing LSD, but that's a whole other topic. Vitamin food vanilla. I figured out what caused the jelliness. The flaxseed flour. And I think that causes this sort of sticky, gooey, jelly kind of, and it's, it's rather subtle, but it's, it's, it's there for sure. Okay, so the flavor, it's... I'm trying to find the right word. Um, it has a little bit of that um, pancake batter vibe. Again, with the vanilla, I also recognize that there is not so much of a dry mouth feel. Okay, so let's add some coffee. Vitamin food, coffee. It's warm. I don't like that. <laughs> Round two. I think making it in a blender creates more air in the whole shake. Very nice, it becomes more foamy. The ice cubes definitely work really, really well. Somehow warm shakes, I can't. The coffee and the vanilla blend surprisingly well. Both of them are still quite subtle. I didn't put all the coffee in. 
quite strong. I don't want to be like... <laughs> Vitamin Food is launching the first sugar-free meal replacement. Sugar-free. That's, that's quite a statement. 81.1 grams of carbohydrates, of which only 0 0.8 grams of sugar, which is so far the lowest I've ever seen. By law, at least in the Netherlands, you can't say that something is sugar-free and add maltodextrin, because maltodextrin in that sense is not a, a sugar. Yet, maltodextrin does something very similar in the body as sugar does. Now, this is not a statement that I'm making. This is something that I remember, that I talked about in a, uh, I think it was a brand, a nutritionist from a brand who explained me this. But it's more something that I would like to throw in there. If it does the same to your body, then it's kind of misleading uh, information. Again, I'm not claiming anything. I just think it's interesting. So I've been talking with the people from Vitamin Food on Instagram and I asked them about the no sugar claim and also asked them about maltodextrin. So here is where it gets complicated. Maltodextrin is a complex carbohydrate which actually consists of multiple sugars. So in that sense, it is sugar, but it also is not. This is the point where I get really confused and lost. As they say on Reddit, like, explain me like I'm five. You should expect maybe for me that I know all this stuff, but I don't. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a nutritionist. This slowly is turning into really complex science. Vitamin food is sugar-free, but they use maltodextrin as pretty much any brand that I've consumed so far. I think I know what I'll do. I'm going to get myself a glucose uh, meter, either continuous or flash, and that way I can compare a regular food with complete food. And I think that will give me a much more hands-on anecdotal evidence in regards to this whole uh, glucose level uh, issue. If I consume food with, which spikes my glucose, it uh, directly affects the way I perform and the way I feel, like my mood. I just want confirmation of that suspicion. I want to figure out if that's true. So I'm gonna find a glucose monitor system, like an affordable one. The, the ones I've seen so far, they're pretty expensive. And from there on, I can start this experiment. I'm really pro making this in a blender. As you can see, there's a lot of bubbles and sparks and, and whipped air into the thing, which makes it much more of a milkshake than if you would make it regularly. It smells really fresh. It has a very nice strawberry milkshake taste. Yeah, it says aroma, strawberry flavor. I'd be curious to figure out what exactly the strawberry flavor is. Obviously that's maybe some sort of a thing that you don't want to tell as a brand because then everybody else will start copying that. And yesterday what I did, I added rice milk. By adding the rice milk, you sort of push the flavor of the shake in terms of sweetness. So the big question is, how does it taste? Oh, snap, that's... Yeah. So let's figure out what my son thinks of this shake. Twee shakes, <laughs> twee shakes, whoa. Eerst de chocola, deze. En te zoet. Te poederig en te zoet. Uh -huh. Ik zou het een... Als je het cijfer zou moeten geven? 5,5. Waar doet het je aan denken? Omdat ik misselijk moet worden. Dit is heel dik. Dat vind ik niet lekker. Dit is banaan met rijstmelk, pindakaas, een echte banaan en chiazaad. Dit is zoveel lekkerder. Ik ga helemaal omhoog. Het is echt lekker. Die banaan en die pindakaas, dat is een hele goede koffie. Dat is een beetje door elkaar. Dat maakt een beetje zoetig. Niet te zoet als die chocola. Wat voor cijfer geef je die? Ja, 9,5. 9,5? Ik vind hem echt heel oh lekker. Oh my god. I owe the people from Vitamin Food a bit of an apology because this vlog is, is way, way, way late. The time that I shot it and the actual editing of the thing. Um, I think that's because this whole vlog game or video, I don't really, I also don't really want to call them vlogs, video content. As soon as I have something, I'm already busy with the next three other ones. So in that sense, I'm just like a machine 
but the actual production of the thing have to become more machine-like. Yeah, I guess learning curve or something, I don't know. Whoa, you can see me while you see me, whoa. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video and if you think you want to see more, well, there is a subscription button down there. So this was maybe a bit of a weird ending, live from the San Francisco airport. Thank you, and I hope you see me soon. Bye-bye.